Welcome to ITU's headquarters for WISIS Forum 2019. The big theme this year is how to use ICTs to help deliver the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. To discuss it, I am joined by Maria Manuela Cotrina. She is State Secretary for the Ministry of Communication and Information Society of Romania. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. Thank you very much for uh, having the opportunity to be here. You're very welcome. So let's talk about how you use ICTs in Romania to help deliver the SDGs. And I believe you are going to tell us about this very interesting initiative in education. It's about using artificial intelligence. Tell us more about that. <laughs> that was a secret that I tell you before. But <laughs> um, actually, um, I think um, beside uh, offering infrastructure, laying broadband, offering access and uh, affordable access and also uh, high speed to the population, we need also to use this network that we already have. And um, one of the ways to, to use it beside uh, doing e-government um, uh, and uh, doing e-government services, use it for e-commerce or using for various businesses that, that they, uh, they are there, we think that we need to, to uh, have built the skills for the people to use it in a more uh, efficient way. So um, we um, tried to put, and I think as I told you last year, that we already have mandatory classes from the fifth degree uh, for IT, uh, ITNC, uh, for informatics, uh, coding, computer science, and so on, in each school. So each kid that is 10 years old has to learn it. But the problem that was generated by this decision is that we didn't have enough teachers that are able to transmit these new technologies, new, new competencies, and so on and so forth, mainly in the remote areas of Romania, where we had the infrastructure, but we didn't have the, the we also have the computers, but we don't have the, the teachers. And the, the kids there have the same right to access to the, in, to, to the new technologies that the kids in, born in the capital. Uh, so what happened is a club, an EI club, that was uh, working in, uh, in the University of Commerce, Curiously, not in the University of Wight, uh, would you expect it, a polytechnical school or so, uh, worked on a program. It's an artificial intelligence agent. Uh, she got a name. She's called Ioana. And um, every uh, kid can uh, get a personal assistant and teach him coding. Um, the schools uh, just have to register with, uh, with the platform. Um, so right now, in around six months, maybe 50% of the schools already registered and use this, uh, this assistant, but also the, 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 um, the parents can register their kids. And this, this assistant teach the kids coding in their own piece, in, in, in their own um, rhythms. So uh, it has uh, the patience that is needed and sometimes energy. Uh, it's very successful and uh, we're looking forward to, to have it in all the schools in, in till the end of the year. Um, and it o doesn't only teach coding. It they teaches they learn uh, also uh, drones, 3D printing, uh, new technologies. People are uh, kids are very enthusiastic with this. So it's one way of using artificial intelligence for a different thing that we already expected to use it. So it's a fantastic example of how you can use ICT for inclusion. Um, there's an issue in ICTs actually generally, and it's the, the lack of women I in the sector. I believe that's a theme that's very dear to you personally, exactly. and of course to the ministry as well. So what efforts are you conducting in Romania to improve the situation? Actually, we are in a favorable situation being in the t on top of Europe in the number of Euro uh, women. We are around 30%, but still not enough. Uh, and we try to convince our European partners that we need more. Um, and so, uh, exotically as it may sound, one of the priorities of the presi Romanian presidency of the Council, the Rot of the Presidency, is beside innovation, cybersecurity skills, women in tech. Um, why? Because uh, I th we think it's a purely business decision before being a gender equity uh, decision. Uh, all of the industry has a lack of talents in every European country, but everywhere elsewhere on, on the globe. We have no not enough people that come to the industry. So it will be totally stupid not to look at half, half of the population that are women in every country and bring them on board. Uh, just because it's an industry that pays well, it's an industry that allows you to make a good mix between family life and uh, professional lives, just because we can work remotely, for example. And uh, so uh, we need more women. That's as simple as it is. And uh, surprisingly, women are very good at it. 
<laughs> or maybe not surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, maybe not surprisingly. Uh, now, you've mentioned that uh, you're here at Wissis Forum for the second year running. So why was it important for you to come back? I think uh, Wissis Forum uh, has a f format that is quite exotic in the international uh, relations. It's a, m po it's a place where you can meet a lot of people. You can be connected to a lot of hot topics that are discussed in the let's say not very formal way, that's good, because you, you change opinion, you learn what other countries do. Uh, sometimes we are really um, secluded in Europe and in our European discussions, and we uh, just forgot that there is a, a word out there that does amazing things. So this uh, opportunity is here to learn what others do, maybe to share our experience and uh, give it to, 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 to the world, maybe learn from others' mistake and uh, also uh, learn from others' uh, success. So I really like the atmosphere. This is why I, I, I decided to be here today and uh, not to be impressed. <laughs> but um, I think it's something that WISIS does very good and it does it for 10 years. Uh, so uh, we're looking forward to, to new events in this format. Maya, Manuela, Katrina, thank you so much. Thank you very much.